this video was sponsored by Storyblocks. I saw the rock post this on Instagram and I thought to myself that would make a pretty cool tutorial. So here it is. Hey, what's up? My name is Ineas Alea and I am a visual effects artist. In today's video, I will show you how to recreate this really cool effect of an energy ball that we throw to the air to reveal another sky or another universe. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so here's what we need. We need to record ourselves grabbing an energy ball and throwing it away. We need an energy ball which we're going to hold. And actually we're working on a really cool energy effect pack, which I'm going to give you this energy ball for free so you can follow along with this tutorial. For the sky and for the transition effect, you can use an effect or you can generate a shape or you can use stock footage such as an ink drop to reveal your sky. And that's where today's video sponsor comes in. For today's video, I'm going to be using these assets from Storyblocks. This is because Storyblocks offers unlimited stock footage and templates for an affordable price for anyone's needs, which is super useful when you don't own a high-end camera or you don't have the time to go out and shoot or you just don't have that type of location nearby and you really want that location in your edit. Anyway, these assets you can also use in your VFX shots or you can even use them as mats or luma mats, which we're going to be talking about more in this video. Also really important is that their entire library is royalty free, which means you don't end up getting problems when you upload to social media such as YouTube in Instagram or TikTok. Save valuable time with an unlimited selection of curated professional content and predictable subscription costs. They have clear-cut licensing and coverage. They also offer a ton of pre-made motion graphics templates to choose from to improve your production value of your videos. They also have a really cool plugin for Premiere Pro that allows you to import everything directly in the software so you don't have to go to their website all the time. Anyway, if you would like to find out more about Storyblocks, I will leave a link in the description below with a personalized link. And yeah, I would encourage you to check it out for yourself. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so the first thing that I will do is import my footage into a new composition. So then I'm going to create a new null object, which is going to be for my track of the hand. And then I'm going to duplicate this and rename it to track background. We need to track both my hand and background because we are using a moving shot. Then we're going to apply the Mocha AE effect to my footage and open that up by clicking on the logo. Then I'm going to choose the X-Spline tool and I'm going to make a rough selection around my hand. Then I'm going to track this both backwards and forwards. After that, I'm going to deselect the gear icon and I'm going to create a new selection now in the background. This time I'm going to track this part. Once you're done, you can close Mocha AE and just click save. Then we're going to click on create track data for the hand and then we're going to choose the export option transform and then layer to export two is going to be the track hand. Now we're going to do the same thing by creating track data for the background and now applying this to the background. So now we have two nulls that are following the motion of our track. Now I'm going to import this galaxy photo, which I found on Storyblocks. And this is going to be our background. Then I'm going to choose my footage and I'm going to duplicate that. Place your footage above the galaxy sky and we're going to use some sky replacement techniques. Here you can really choose any technique that works for you for sky replacement. I have a bunch of other videos that are also showing you in-depth sky replacement techniques. For this video, I'm just simply going to use the key light to kind of key the blue color from the sky. Obviously, you can take more time with this. I just wanted to do it the quick route. So for the key, I also play a little bit with the shrink, grow and stuff like that and feather. So I get something like this. Obviously, I'm still going to see the clouds. You can choose whether you key these or not with more detail, but I'm not going to do that. After that, I'm also going to apply a tritone effect to this layer and I'm going to pick a color that actually appears in my sky. My sky is pink and blue. And so if you mix those two colors together, or if you look in between those two colors, you're going to see purple. So I think purple would be a nice color reflection that would complement the sky. So what I'm going to do is pick a purplish color for the tritone. And for the highlight, we can go for a bright bluish kind of color, just so we get some variation in there. Obviously, this is going to be too much. So play with the blending here to make it look like something different. I'm also going to add a curves to this sky and I'm going to bring the shadows for blue a little bit up and also a little bit of green so I get a nicer sky. I'm also going to add a little bit of contrast in there just to make it my own. 
So now we need to parent our sky to our tracked background so the sky would actually move along with our shot and also make sure it's uh, scaled big enough so it actually moves along or when it actually goes out of the frame that you still make sure that it's in the shot and you do that by scaling it up a little bit, cheating a little bit or using the motion dial. Now we need our transition clip which comes from Storyblocks. This is a really cool ink drop that is falling here and yeah, this is going to be our transition. I'm going to cut this wherever the ink drop hits for the first time. And I'm also going to invert the shot so we have a white ink drop instead of a black one because everything that is white is going to be seen and everything that is black isn't. And here is actually a really fun new update in Adobe After Effects. Luma mats and track mats have been completely retaught before you needed to have that layer on top of the other layer and duplicate it multiple times. Now you can simply parent your original object to the layer that you want to use as a Luma mat. So in this case, I'm going to pick with my sky to the Luma mat and voila, I have my transition. I just have to click this button button right here to make sure it's a luma mat and now we can see this cool i'm also going to scale the ink a little bit up over time just so you don't see any black over time so it actually grows over the entire sky and now the entire sky has been replaced so now I need to create a roto of my hand. So I'm going to duplicate my original footage once again. I'm going to trim it only to the time where I'm actually catching an energy ball and releasing it because I only need a roto for that time. And I'm quickly going to do an entire roto of my hand just so it becomes the foreground when I have my energy ball in the shot. Then I'm going to freeze this roto and leave it as is. Now we need to import our energy ball. I'm also going to change this to a screen or add mode and I'm also going to scale it down to fit my hand size. I'm going to place it in here and also bring it below the roto layer so you can actually see your hands on top of it. I'm also going to parent it to the track of my hand so it actually follows my hand motion but it's possible that you will also have to hand animate it here and there to make sure that it's in the exact same spot so adding keyframes for the position and scale is something that you will have to do as well. Then at the position where I'm actually ready to launch I'm going to create new keyframes for a position and scale and then a little bit further in time I'm going to reposition it just a little bit further and scale it quite down so it looks like it's being shot into the depth of space. There we can trim this and this is going to start our transition to our sky so make sure that these times match up and then we're also going to animate our tritone effect in so in the beginning we don't want any colors to be affected and then over time as the ink is actually spreading out now we want to gradually introduce that tritone effect. I'm also going to add a new solid with a optical flares effect to it applied and I'm also going to parent the optical flares to the track of my hand so that I have a flare on top of my energy ball to give a little bit more of an energy vibe. I'm also going to play with the brightness of the flare and animate this over time. So at the beginning it's really bright, when I catch it, it lowers a little bit and when I launch it, I obviously trim it. Then play around with screen shakes to enhance the effect a little bit more and also play with some glows. For my energy ball, I also used a perfect glow just to give it a little bit more of that. Mm. Yeah, you know. And yeah, there we have our entire effect. Now it's time to check it out. I hope you enjoy. Alright, and that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel for more and definitely hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. Apart from that, I'm going to leave you with another video of mine right here so you can continue your VFX journey and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Until then, create epic videos.